It's time to steal another video idea. Today's video is based off Twisted Wrister's video where he forgot the Canucks. But for this video, I'll not only give you my favorite Adidas era jersey from each of the 32 NHL franchises, but I'll be giving them in the order of how I would rank them from worst to best. So get ready to whine and cry about how badly I rank things. <laughs> Let's get into it. At number 32, we have the Nashville Predators. And for them being in 32nd, it doesn't mean that they have, you know, the worst jerseys out of anybody, right? This is not an average. This is like putting your best up against the best of the others. And for that, Nashville just doesn't quite stack up against the others. For theirs, my favorite is the away jersey that they've had ever since the adidas era started and yeah it's nice um they've got a unique uh, number uh design with the guitar strings and i don't know maybe some kind of guitar look with the way it's shaped i don't know not really maybe but but maybe i don't know but yeah i don't know i just don't think this quite stacks up against the best of the rest you know and so not bad jersey still my favorite nashville jersey of this era um i do think they should start doing blue jerseys again the blue jersey that they had in this era was the smashville one which is ridiculous <laughs> like <laughs> there's no way that would be here i think nashville should should um put blue as their main color for at least an alternate jersey or something in this next era but yeah, the Adidas era for Nashville was kind of defined by them having maybe too much yellow. Maybe too much yellow, right? Number 31, I have the Ottawa Senators. And I was thinking about putting their Centennial jersey here, but I do think their 2D homes are a little bit better still, but they don't quite, again, stack up quite against the rest. Um, I do like these, they're slick, they're clean, they're nice, but there's just not enough there to really put it higher up on the list. For the Edmonton Oilers, their best jersey for me is something that I know so many people are not gonna agree with. <laughs> but the Oilers, I don't know, I've never really been a big fan of the Oilers jerseys or anything like that. Um, to me, they're just meh. And my favorite has been the Reverse Retro 1.0. I think just the colors are kind of unique here. And so, yeah, I don't know. I like the orange on the shoulders with the white. Um, it actually, this round with the blue looks good too, but I like it better with the white. And so that's what I'm going with here. Their reverse retro 1.0, which I know is not as popular. I think people were kind of thinking this was uh, maybe a bit boring when they came out with uh, this, but um, I don't know. I think it's really clean. I think it's really nice. I think it looks really good on the ice. And. Uh, so I'm going with it. For the Maple Leafs best jersey, I actually really like their dark jerseys. Um, I think they look really slick. I think they look really nice. And I actually like it better when they're wearing this than wearing their normal blue jerseys. I don't know, I think it looks better. Again, I'm not a Leafs fan. Uh, Leafs fan saying that might be sacrilege, I don't know. But I'm just, I'm gonna give you all the opinions today that you're gonna think are sacrilege. So <laughs> just get ready for that. Uh, Montreal. Uh, normally I would like their home jerseys with the line going all the way around but in this case I went with their away jerseys with the Adidas because of that horrible like horseshoe looking collar that they put on their home jerseys I don't know why they did that I think it looks terrible um, so I did go with their standard away jerseys that they had since the start of the Adidas era I think these are awesome still um, just a nice classic look right and so yeah I'm a big fan of these um, I would have put their 2016 I think winter classic there if uh, if that had been an Adidas jersey but it's not so um, I'm going with the uh, the uh, away jerseys here for the Seattle Kraken, my favorite of theirs, I'm not actually a huge fan of their Winter Classic jerseys. I've seen a lot of people uh, loving on those, especially lately. Uh, when they came out, I think it was more like, oh, they're all right. And now I just see like people loving these things. Uh, but for me, my choice is still the original. Oh, I put original home here. It's actually their original away jersey. So yeah, I'm, 
I'm all for their original away jersey and uh, I think that's the best. I like it in white. I think you see the depth of color a lot better with that. You know, it goes from the deep blue to the light blue to the very, very light blue to the white. I think it just shows the depth of color a lot better. And so I like that. And I just think it looks a lot nicer anyway. 26, I have the Hurricanes and for them, my favorite was the Hartford Whalers one they put out this year. It looks amazing, uh, but I feel like that's a little bit of cheating. I don't want to go with the Whalers jersey, so I did go with the 25th anniversary jersey. Uh, the Whalers jersey could have been like second or third on this list, uh, but I, I felt like I just kind of felt like it was cheating. It's not really cheating, right? But it kind of felt like it was cheating if I was saying Carolina. So I did, I did go with their anniversary jersey. I think this is still really, really good. I do prefer this over their um, storm flag jersey or hurricane flag jersey. Um, that is a good one though. A very nice one. And it has grown on me over the years. I think when it came out, I always thought it was a lot, it was too big. <laughs> the logo was too big on the on the jersey, but it actually looks quite nice. They've, they've made it look really nice. and. Uh, it is growing on me, but I still would put the uh, 25th anniversary jersey uh, in there as Carolina's best, apart from their Hartford jerseys. Because I mean, the Hartford Whalers, like that that branding there was just so good. <laughs> um, for the Vegas Golden Knights, my favorite is not their golden jersey. Uh, my favorite is actually their gray jersey, their original home jersey that they had when they came into the league with Adidas starting their era off. And so, yeah, I don't know. I really like this one. I think it's great. I just, I don't, I feel like I'm minding the golden, gold, gold jersey less and less. I think it's growing on me, but I still prefer this one to it. 24, the Dallas Stars. And for them, I have their reverse retro 2.0. Um, you got the original logo on there where it doesn't even say Dallas. So it really is the original Dallas Stars logo, right? And so, I don't know, I love that on there. It's better than the D star logo that they have now. Uh, I debated putting their 2020 Winter Classic on here, but I feel like this one I just, I like a little bit more. And of course, this is not the all white <laughs> jersey that they had in 2020, which was really not well thought out. Um, so this is just a way better version of, of using this original stars logo and so i just i just think this is a good one for philly i went with their newest jersey well actually their newest is probably the stadium series so their their newest home jersey i guess uh i like this one it's kind of that legion of doom kind of style uh jersey and so i'm a fan of that and i really like this one uh the name bar on the back is kind of like okay um i know this picture is kind of like the just like that mock-up thing of uh, when you type in, oh, I want a jersey with this guy's name on it. How will it look? Um, which a lot of sites don't do anymore. They just kind of like say, type in the name and we'll do it for you. We don't want to show you this preview. So eh, anyway, but uh, yeah, I mean, either way, the name bar is there on the regular jerseys and uh, I don't know what I think of it, but it is a Philly thing, right? And so I don't want them to change it. I just think this is a nice jersey. Um, and again, I like, I like the changes that they made this past season. Boston. What's my favorite Boston jersey? I love the ones they put out this year, but there's one, and I feel like a lot of people are going to disagree with me on this, like they will with a lot of others. But one that I really liked, <laughs> and I called my favorite, was one that, uh, I don't know, I don't know what the reaction was to it. I think it was maybe a mid, or maybe like, oh, it's nice, but not maybe the greatest. But I think it's the greatest of the Adidas era anyway. And that's the yellow ones from the Reverse Retro 1.0, the original Reverse Retro series. I love these. I think they're great. And so, yeah, I'm all for these. <laughs> I am like 100% all for these. And um, yeah, I, I mean, they're down at 22, but I still think they're great. Uh, LA, what's my favorite LA jersey? Well, it's probably the same as a lot of people. It's uh, the Reverse Retro as well. Uh, love this thing. Think it's great. The purple's nice. Just good to go back to those original colors. Um, using the Chevron logo, maybe I would have liked it more without the Chevron logo, but they were doing a reverse retro and they kind of mixed their reverse. Sorry, they kind of mixed the retro together, I should say, rather than reversed it. But uh, 
Yeah, it's kind of like a remix retro, maybe more than the reverse retro. But I, I love it still. It's it's a great jersey. looks really good. And even with the Chevron logo, it looks good. Tampa, what's their best jersey? Well, I debated doing the Storm jersey, and I ended up coming up with the other reverse retro. I love the Storm jersey, though. Uh, this one's great, and it's, it's obviously, I think, better when it's just the retro and it's just, you know, the black is the main base color and the blue is kind of the accent uh, on the bottom stripes. And I think it's, yeah, I think it's the color of the collar as well. But yeah, I, I just, uh, I really, really like this old logo. I really like the old way of doing their jerseys with this style and uh, seeing this reversed, um, it's great, it's great. Islanders, okay, so um, this jersey I think is probably my favorite Islanders jersey ever and I think it got so much flack because they released it in the worst way basically. They called this a reverse retro, which it wasn't. It was not a reverse retro. It was like, oh, here's another Islanders jersey. And it got a lot of flack for that, but I still think it's 10 times better than like their current home and aways. I think the deep blue color works better with the Islanders personally. And the collar is actually good because the collar on their normal jerseys is, is disgusting. Like, look at that. It's like a necklace. It's awful. So for me, and I, and I also like how the white striping is above the orange striping. I don't know. I like that. I think that's kind of cool actually. So I think this jersey is great. I thought back then that they should have switched this to their home jersey and maybe just done that instead of calling this a reverse retro because that was not the time to bring this jersey out. This is for a reverse retro. I understand why it was so reviled because it's not. It, it, like, it was just Lou Lamorello saying, this is what I want. I'm not doing what you guys want. So <laughs> I don't know. That's what it felt like anyway. So yeah, I, I love the jersey. It was released at the worst time, but I still think it's the best Islanders jersey. I think it's the best Islanders jersey I've ever seen. So to me, this is it. This is it. Um, for Arizona, I went with probably what most people would go with, one or the other, but I went with the Kachina. Um, I went with the white Kachina though. I like the white one better. So most people maybe would go with the other Kachina. I like the white one better. I think it just looks a little cleaner, pops a little more. Uh, some, yeah, some home jerseys with the full-on color, I think, look better than the aways. But a lot of times, I think just the white base just, I don't know, looks better. And this is one of those cases. 17, I have the Ducks and, yeah, not their home and aways. <laughs> I was considering their anniversary jersey, but I just, I don't know. I just, the shoulders, I wasn't big on them having the shoulders on there. So I actually went with their orange reverse retro and to me, it's just like almost as good as the original. Um, I like the original colors better. I would have said that's better, but these are great and they should be easily their away jerseys and uh, maybe do an orange home jersey. I don't know. I, I If it was my choice, I would still go with the, you know, the jade and eggplant colors, but uh, this is still great too. And this would be way better than what they have as uh, home and aways, that's for sure. For Columbus, uh, I picked what I think most people, at least that are not Columbus fans, would pick. Uh, there's a lot of Columbus fans that do love their home and aways, but I love the Canon. I'd always go with the Canon. And so, yeah, for me, Columbus is Canon. Chicago, this one's also gonna be unpopular, I think. And uh, I think there's, there's, I don't know, kind of this love it or hate it vibe that come with these jerseys because a lot of people trash these and a lot of people do really like these and i'm in that camp that i really like them and i like i i think they're great i think they look so good um two colors yep it's the black ones it's the winter classic from 2009 2019 i should say uh it's great jersey i think i love it um i know it takes away all the color and chicago is just such a logo that's famous for having this great amount of color in it. Just an amazing logo. But uh, <laughs> yeah, they kind of stripped that away, but I don't know, I love it. Apart apart from, you know, a little bit on the neck, inner neck, which you don't see anyway. And that Winter Classic patch, which I don't know. 
it doesn't go well with it i guess but like there's no other color right it's black and white and uh i don't know i just like that kind of stripped back look i like all the stripes being on there i think there's an argument that people make that they don't like the stripes and that bugs them about this jersey but uh to me i don't mind it at all i think it's fine uh this is not the barber pole the barber pole jersey so no this is i think it's good colorado my favorite of these because of the neckline to their home and aways i i don't like it the collar i don't at all um but then at looking at this jersey more i might have chosen it anyway like this jersey's growing on me the reverse retro 2.0 i yeah i uh I, it is really growing on me i really like this the more and more i see it i'm like this was actually more of a hit than uh i thought it was on the initial release much more of a hit new york my favorite of theirs is their 2018 winter classic i've seen a lot of people rag on this but uh i've also seen a lot of people love it and i think they're right i i mean i love it too i i think it's a great jersey um but yeah to me this is their best and i i went through a lunch uh, or sorry a lunch i went through a bunch of their jerseys and i considered the liberty i love the liberty logo but i felt like as a jersey I just like this one more, you know, as the whole jersey, because the Liberty logo is amazing. I, I love the Liberty logo, but as a jersey as a whole, I, I still prefer this. I think this is the best one. Uh, Detroit. Detroit is easy. It's just their normal jersey. <laughs> They're a ways. I love the 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 red collar. I love just everything about this. It's just their classic look, and I love that they didn't do anything and they didn't change anything when it came to the Adidas era. I, I think they did the best job out of really anybody in terms of uh, keeping their look as their look. Because I even even Chicago decided to do this weird horse collar thing uh, or horseshoe collar. So I don't know, that was so weird. Uh, they dialed it back a bit later on, but that horseshoe collar is terrible. So I love seeing the, the collar stay true here with the uh, Red Wings jerseys. And yeah, they just, they've looked good for, you know, 50 plus years like longer than that how long i mean i know they've been around for a long time i just wonder how long they've kind of had this jersey style but i mean we could be we could be cl getting closer to 100 years almost you know i mean uh, it might be like 80 or 75 or something at this point i'm not sure but uh yeah buffalo is next and i love the the goat head is what they call it, even though it looks like a buffalo to me. But, but uh, I still actually went with the Winter Classic. I think this jersey looks just phenomenal. Um, this is this looks better to me than their regular away jerseys that they normally use. I love the royal blue, of course, but uh, they have that awesome Sabres um, shoulder patch. And yeah, I mean, they have the NY on there, which is kind of a cool touch. Um, I don't know. I just there's something about this jersey that I just really love. When it first came out, I thought this was phenomenal. Uh, mind you, then it, it had been a while since we'd kind of seen, I think, the uh, royal blue jerseys being used because I used the darker color uh, at that point. But yeah, I don't know. There's just something about this that I just really loved. All right, let's move into the top ten, and we'll start it off with the Calgary Flames. And uh, I am in agreement with the majority of people that going back to what they used to wear um at least that style those colors was an amazing decision and for me the aways are uh my favorite i love how this pops on the white um i just think it's great and so yeah for me calgary that's it minnesota minnesota i think and, and they you'll see here that they could do a better job and this if it was done better would be a lot more high up in my uh, list here, but uh, I've always thought this jersey from Minnesota was very underrated, one of the most underrated ever, uh, mostly in the Reebok era because I think they did a little bit better of a job, but even the color then was not amazing. But uh, I love their away jerseys so much. I don't think they should ever change uh, their away jerseys except for change the collar. but I don't think they should go to the North Stars colors. I know a lot of people have that mindset where they're like, yeah, those are amazing, but I don't know. I think we'll let the North Stars be North Stars. We'll keep that as an alternate. I think that's good. Um, but this one, to me, it belongs. It really belongs. And 
I love the red numbers on there. Again, the collar just being that weird necklace thing. To me, that's terrible. To me, that brings it down. <laughs> but uh, in general, I am a, a big fan of most of this design. I am a huge fan of this color scheme. Red and green should never be seen, should never be said. I will say that always. I love red and green together. I think they look good, especially this kind of like more foresty kind of green. It just works really well with the team. Way better than I think the North Stars color um, color scheme. Yeah, I I mean, yeah, I mean, this is the Minnesota Wild, right? You want kind of a foresty look, a foresty vibe rather than a North Stars vibe, I think. That's my opinion. Pittsburgh had an amazing reverse retro, and uh, to not put that here would be crazy, I think, to me. Uh, I've always loved the RoboPen. Uh, I, I've always loved that um, NHL 2002 kind of Mario Lemieux jersey style, but this kind of takes that, and uh, well, it takes the white one, actually, that takes the white jersey um, and just reverses it, because that's what it was. But I love it on black here, too. I think it looks amazing. I think it looks stellar. I think these yellow shoulders especially pop so well when uh, when they're playing out there. And so I am I love this jersey a lot. Vancouver. And this is kind of an interesting thing because I'm a very... Like, I'm a Canucks fan, but I feel like I'm one of the Canucks fans that's in a bit of a minority. I think most people would choose the skate. And uh, I think... If it wasn't the skate, I think a lot of people would still choose the Orca. There is an alternate that got a lot of flack when it came out, but I remember I saw it before I saw anyone's comments, and I thought, wow, I uh, I love this. I absolutely love this thing, and uh, I think it's great. And then I was kind of disappointed because I looked at people's thoughts on it, and I was like, oh, people don't like this? I've always really liked it. It's the stick and rink alternate. I'm a huge stick and rink guy. Uh, that's always kind of been my favorite kind of look to the Canucks. And um, I know they kind of had this design in 2011, but I actually like this better because I think it looks better with the white base to uh, the actual logo. You know, they kind of, you know, made it a white logo instead of a blue one, I guess. Um, and I actually really like the striping. I know a lot of people just hated the striping. I love it. This jersey to me is great. I didn't buy one. I I, I just uh, sometimes I I'm not a really a jersey collector, so I, I I have a Canucks jersey. I have a couple, um, but I mean I don't want to buy every single jersey. It's just a lot of money because I like getting the authentic stuff with names on it when I do get one. But this one I definitely considered a few times getting because I I do really really like it and I think in my eyes, that this is the best in the Adidas era for the Canucks. They've had some pretty good ones. The Johnny Canuck one, I think, is a very good one as well. But to me, yeah, this is uh, this is the one. This is the one. Washington, this was the easiest choice in the world for Washington. There's one jersey that I think stands up, stands out above the rest, and that's this most recent uh, reverse retro. Um, I remember seeing this and thinking, oh, they're not actually doing a reverse retro. Because for some reason, I thought this was an actual jersey that they've had before. But it always had been the Capitol Building logo on the front if it was a black jersey. And I think this looks amazing. I think the Caps should do this full time. I think they really should. I think they need to. I'm still shocked that they still have that word mark kind of logo as their main jersey. It's just like... Do something else, <laughs> please. Please do something else with uh, this new Fanatics jersey situation coming up. I really hope they do. Um, this is just amazing, and Washington, go back to this, please. San Jose, and uh, whenever you go back to their original jerseys and do something based on that, um, really, it's going to be a hit no matter what. I think they could have done the collar better. Like They could have done a little bit better job with this jersey, uh, but um, yeah, just still an outstanding jersey. Still looks amazing, and uh, what a great, great original design. And uh, because they went back to that design, I mean, yeah, again, it's it's hard to really make a bad jersey out of that at all. St. Louis, St. Louis is in fourth, and yeah, I, there's. There's another version of this jersey from Reebok that I did like a little bit more, uh, just the collar, 
But this is just such a nice jersey, the classic alternate. Uh, they used this as a winter classic with Reebok with the, I don't know, kind of like a sweater collar, which I love. I love that jersey so much. But this version of it is great as well. Um, just that blue, that blue color is just such a nice color. And to have a full on jersey like that, uh, with that color is just nice and uh, the st. Louis blues they got yellow in there and stuff like that It's just great. I, I, I just think it's such a good Jersey New Jersey New Jersey is in the top three so you can kind of think about oh who's left who do whose jerseys do I think are the best of the Adidas era what teams have the best ones uh, if you can think of who's not come up yet uh, there's there the two that haven't come up yet are, are definitely uh, ones that I've mentioned before on the channel that I absolutely love but uh, this New Jersey one I have mentioned it before but uh, I don't think it's as well I don't know if it's as well remembered I feel like it probably should be fondly remembered but it's the 2018 heritage this thing is just stellar Again, I'm I'm always gonna say red and green should never be seen, should never be said, but uh, I think that um, I don't know. I think that even people who don't like red and green, I, I think a lot of them still like this jersey. I don't know. I could be wrong on that, but I just I just I think this is a well liked jersey, but I think it kind of gets forgotten. Um, I'll never forget it. <laughs> like this to me, it was. The number one choice in my head when I started thinking about this for the Devils, like it's it's just so good. Okay, so top two, I have Florida, which I've always kind of been saying like this is my favorite jersey. This is my favorite jersey in the last few years, uh, and it. I'll explain it in a bit when I get to my number one, but uh, yeah, I, I love the reverse retro from the Florida Panthers. I think it's amazing. I think they need to have that logo full time again. And I think this is the best jersey that the Panthers have ever had. I will say, though, that I think there could be some improvements to make a Florida jersey even better. And that's kind of why I have it a little bit below number one, because I think number one is kind of like, to me, the perfect jersey in a way. And so I, I've said it before, and I went into this thinking this would be number one, actually, this Florida Panthers jersey. I went into, I went into this thinking it would be number one. And uh, I've done that before with another jersey, my old 2018 ranking of my top 10 jerseys ever. I went into that thinking another jersey would be number one, um, only for this same jersey pretty much taking its spot. And that is number one, the Winnipeg Jets, 2018 Heritage. Just so good. <laughs> I just love this thing. There's no changing my mind on this. Um, I really, really need the Jets to switch to these. I, I don't know why they still have their jerseys that they do when they also wear and have worn these things as alternates. Um, I, I just, I don't know why the Jets don't go to these full time. These are the absolute best. Uh, these are my favorite jerseys ever, I think, at this point. Right at this point, these are pretty much my favorite jerseys ever of all time. And they came in the Adidas era. I, I mean, the only other option would be the ones that they had for their Winter Classic, or sorry, Heritage Classic in 2016. I do like that neckline too. But this neckline is also great in the Adidas style. And so, yeah, I absolutely love this. And so that's my ranking. Let me know what your favorite jersey was from the Adidas era. Uh, like this video if you like it. And yeah, give me some feedback. Are you going to whine about this? <laughs> Are you going to cry about this? I uh, bet some people will. But uh, at the same time, like, this is my opinion. And in my eyes, my opinion is is like the right thing <laughs> so that's that's what i have here <laughs> but it is my opinion yes so anyway take care